Hey guys, it's Nixie. Today I've got a nice little informational video for you on multiple characters' ideal combos in Shadow Arena. These combos will guarantee your opponent's death in evenly geared scenarios. First, let's go over the rules of these combos. The first rule, the combo must have in-game viability, meaning no openings that are extremely niche or hard to manage. The combo must not abuse known bugs, the reason I specify known bugs is because of something like Goyan's Gravedigger Cancel, which we aren't sure whether it is or is not a bug, so for all intents and purposes, it's being permitted into these combos. The combo must kill a 10,000 HP character without any gaps in between CCs. The combo must not make use of terrain, meaning things like walls, stairs, hills, or terrain objects are not permitted. Each of these combos was tested over a sample size of 20, 10 attempts with the Goyan test subject attempting to use Gatekeeper to super armor out of the chain, and 10 with them attempting to blink out of the combo. First up, we're going to be going over Jordine's 100-0 combo. Here's a breakdown of Jordine's combo. You start with a sprinting jump attack, followed by forward attack, then a basic attack. Next, throw Spear of Serendia, followed by another forward attack and basic attack loop. Now, low sweep, into forward attack. Finish it with a spinning slash, into formation break, hitting their back for the kill. Next, we'll be taking a look at Schultz. Here's a breakdown of Schultz's combo. Start with a sprinting jump attack, followed by forward attack, into headbutt. Next, is three basic attacks, followed up with Rock Smash. Delay Rock Smash as long as possible into the Pile Driver ending, then Bestial Howl. Next, you Headbutt. Now another three basic attacks. Finish it with Gatebreaker into a buffered sprint attack for the kill. Now we're going to give everyone's favorite, Goyen, some time in the spotlight. Next I'll give you a breakdown of Goyen's combo. Start with a sprinting attack. Next, Gravedigger cancel into Corpse Cut. Mix in a basic attack, then Abdomen Kick. Another basic attack into Iron Pulverizer, then Blood Flurry while holding left mouse for the kill. Now for the glowing golden martial arts fighter Badal. Now, let's go over Badal's combo. Start with Golden Gate activated. Open with a Suratred, using its leftmost follow-up for a knockdown. Into four basic attacks. Now, Thunderbreaker using its first follow-up. Another four basic attacks. Then, Sleeve Tangler. Use forward and shoulder strike to knock down afterwards. Now, a Suratred again to close distance. Follow up with left mouse for the final knockdown. Finish it with five basic attacks. You've 
definitely been blown up by this sorceress before. Here's a home. Next here we have a hone. Open with chin kick, then basic attack three times. Now use shadow explosion. Next up, add one basic attack, cancelled into dark mark. Then phantom raven, using its right mouse follow up for another knockdown. Immediately cast son of destruction, followed by another phantom raven with its right mouse follow up. Hold left mouse during the follow-up to bypass the first two hits of the basic attack chain, resulting in a faster burst. Now, chin kick again, followed by two basic attacks, into another phantom raven with its right mouse follow-up. Perform a full basic attack chain at this point for the kill. favorite friendly little rat, Haru. Now I'll give you a rundown of Haru's combo. Start with a sprinting jump attack. In order for this combo to kill, you must get a back attack with this. Now mix in three basic attacks, followed by mind cut. Now, four basic attacks. Uproot with its leftmost follow-up. Use Thunder Rip to chase. Finish the combo with Heart Stab into Mirage for the kill. Alternatively, as shown in this next clip, you can skip the leftmost follow-up of Uproot and do this instead. After Mind Cut, forward attack, basic attack twice, then Uproot, Thunder Rip, Heart Stab, and Mirage for the kill. Last but not least, our new arrival, the Valkyrie Venslar. Start in defensive stance, then basic attack, then basic attack, then basic attack, then basic attack. You thought I was serious about that one? Here's the real deal. Now let's go over Venslar's 100-0 combo. Starting in her offensive stance, open with Sprinting Jump Attack. Now Forward Attack. Then Radiant Pursuit. Hold right, right mouse button to perform switch stance at the earliest moment possible. Now Basic Attack. Into Shield Throw. Next you Kick. Wait a moment before using another Basic Attack. Now switch stance again, then as the Shield Throw is returning, Radiant Slash. This will result in a back attack for the kill. Again, I'd just like to mention, I am in no way saying that these are the best combos for every situation on these heroes. What this is meant to show is under ideal situations that every one of these heroes is able to 100 to 0 an opponent of equal power. I know there are three heroes missing, and I do hope to release a video of the three of them once they are available to me again. The three are Yonwa, Orwin, and Heroin. Unfortunately, I do not own them currently, and they are off my rotation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more Shadow Arena content, give the video a like if you liked it, and as always guys, have a great day.